Right then, so we've got the Astro van back to the yard. It's freezing. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Right, what we'll do now is we'll quickly open the bonnet and we'll show you what engine's under here because it's not the normal Sportif engine. Boy, oh, it's freezing, isn't it? Right, so what did you do to this many years ago, Sam? I removed the electronic garbage from under the bonnet and I put an early Vectra engine in it. That's what they call an Isuzu engine, isn't it? Yeah, that's the early Isuzu engine. So you can play with the uh, turbo and the boost. That's one wire, that's it. Woo one wire to the pump. So it's in a story state. I think what we'll do, we'll get it stuck on the ramp now, have a look round it, see what needs doing, see if it's scrap, or we can save it like that one. If you haven't seen that video about that van, link up above. So yeah. Come on, get pushing, Sam. <laughs> one more push. Go. Yeah. It's in. Right, so looking round it, that tyre, it's like brand new. Sam's nice little flexi pipe that he made. Tell you what, it's solid under here though. Absolutely solid. What's back axle bush is like? It's pretty tidy. And brake pipes are alright, I know. Oh no, there, yeah. You see there? That's only a short one though, isn't it? The rest have been done, haven't they? That's been done, that brake pipe along there. I have four new tyres on it. Get some distant pads on it. Calipers. Are you going to take the gearbox out and do the clutch as well? We may as well. So we're going to get the clutch out of it, put a new clutch in. Are you crazy? Do all the brakes, new tyres. I just play stupid. Order some new headlights as well, because the headlights are absolutely uh, finished. We'll get some headlights ordered, order a load of bits up now, and we'll uh, see you shortly when we've got all the new bits, so. Stupid is, stupid does. See you soon, bye. So what we're doing now is whipping the front wheels off, getting the shafts out, taking the gearbox out. You, uh, you wish, Kev. <laughs> get the gearbox out and put the clutch in. We've ordered all the bits, all the bits are on the way, so when they've arrived, we'll lay them all out and show you what we've got. Right, let's do this. <laughs> Well, I suppose while uh, they're taking the subframe out, I might as well get these wheels cleaned up. Now that we've sort of cleaned them up, found that one's got a dent there, can you see? So we've rung the wheel specialist and he's going to strip them all down, straighten them and then we're going to get them re powder coated so it's nice and fresh. Not with a blue inside, I think they're just going to be all white unless Sam wants to change a different colour. Just going to finish the van off. So I've ordered some brand new tyres so when we go home tonight we'll chuck them in the van. So this episode I'm going to do maybe two or three episodes of this van. It's a bit longer than that van. I only missed it all. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fine. There's it's nothing, fine. nothing, nothing wrong with that. Bit of mastic round it, pack it out.
Now Sam's got the subframe out, it gives access to get the gearbox out. And obviously sorting all this, he's discovered that the front brake pipes are annihilated as well. Which the brake pipes need doing. So he's just going to undo the bell housing bolts now and drop the gearbox down. Then we can get the new clutch built back up. I think what we'll do as well is I'll order some paint as well. And we'll have wire the subframes out. Might as well clean it up and get it painted up. What do you reckon? Yes. Yes. Right, so the gearbox is about to come out now. We've just done the uh, bell housing bolts, got them off. So we're just going to drop it down. There was a few missing apparently, so maybe that's why the clutch had finished. What's up now? I've taken the gear linkage off. You've not taken the gear linkage off? That's schoolboy error. Oh, and if you've got all the gearbox off now, haven't you? And you've took all the mounts off, so you can't lift it back up on the ramp. Yeah. You see you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to snail very underneath yeah, there on the, sure on the crawler board. Do you want me to get you the crawler board out? Sorry. Got them off. I'll snap my arm trying to get it done. Ah, oh, well, that's it. Kev's finishing the flooring off for the new ramp. Hopefully. Yeah, took you long enough. <coughs> well, I missed Sam pulling out the gearbox, so you didn't get to see that miraculously thing happen. Look at the angle of the centre of the clutch. That's what it's been. Too many wheel spins. That clutch there is finished. It's not even centre lined, if you can see. It's nice, yeah. cheap cap clutch. That's the clutch out. That shouldn't be like that. 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 I think that'll go again. Yeah. So yeah, this is the new clutch that's going in LUK. If you want one of these clutches for your van, I'll put a link in the description down below. If you go and click on our link, you get a good deal on these clutches and it helps our channel out. So go buy a clutch or something else that's in the description. Thank you. There's some WD-40 in there. Everyone needs WD-40. Go buy it now. Why we've got the gearbox out, so before we put the new clutch in, we're going to do the brake pipe because it this just gives you loads more easy room. You can't really see it there. And it comes round, but it's just loads more, more access to work with. Because it is, it's finished. If it'll focus in, I don't think there's anything left on it. You're going to kick Kev in the head? Why? Dossing. Dossing? It's freezing. We need to get this heater back on. I can't. We're filming. <laughs> so now Sam's got the brake pipe in. What he's going to jump in is start fitting the L UK clutch back in. And then we can get the gearbox back in and bolt it up. Very nice. I don't know if you can see there. I'm not turning the space heater off because it's freezing. There's a new clutch assembly all in. So time to chuck the gearbox back in now. That's it, the concentric slave cylinder is all put back in. All the new bits fitted. And now Kev and Sam are going to chuck the gearbox in. Yeah. Just throw it. Just chuck it in the general direction of the van. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got all these bits down on the floor. We're going to give them all a good wire brush up and then we're going to give them a stone chip up and repaint the exhaust. How did that up? Gearbox is in. Gearbox oil to go in when the shafts are in. Obviously, we can't get all the gearbox bolts in because they're not meant to mate together. But there's about seven in there holding it in. Is that right? Seven or six? Seven of the two that was in the 
Yeah. Yes, this is true. Right, Sam is on doing another brake pipe. Kev is on with doing the subframe that we took out. He's getting it wire brushed down, ready for a coat of paint before we put that back in. Now we've got a load of parts as well. Yeah, so we've got some distant pads there, a pair of calipers there to go on the front as well. In the last episode, we fitted the L UK clutch, rear new drums, new wiper blades, paint, gearbox oil, brake fluid, all stuff like that. So let's jump into this one and get this subframe painted up that Kev's working on. What do you say, mate? Yeah, All right, I'll jump in and help you, mate. So that's the front subframe all painted down with stone chip. Stone chip's got an added anti-corrosion in it, so it looks quite tidy that now. Just freshens it up. Tight and tidy, tight and tidy. tidy. And while we were doing that, Sam stripped the rear brakes down ready for the new drums to go on and found the shoes and knackered. So he's ordered some new shoes, a new brake cylinder and a rear shocker because that side is leaking as well. So while we're waiting for the bits to come for that, we'll get on and sort the brakes out and get the brakes all cleaned up and painted. What colour do you want the brakes to be, Sam? Fresh pink. Fresh and pink, right? So he wants his brakes to be fresh and pink. Not really though, we're gonna do them blue. Yeah mate, not a problem, we'll do them pink for you. So we've got the brakes laid out, front calipers, basically we'll just give them a little mast up round there, mask the slider carriers off. You can take them off but they're a nightmare and you end up just chipping the paint off trying to put them back on anyway. It's not a concourse vehicle we're doing. Leave that on, when you pull that off you know you've got a good seal with a brake pipe, flexi, goes into there, new rear drums here, degrease them all down and shot some paint off. Let's jump into that right now. Why do you always have to be like that? You! You're rubbing off on me! Do run, run, run! So that's the rear drum and the driver side built back up. We'll chuck the passenger side back together now. And right now, oh, it's not working. Is it working with you, Sam? You try it. Well, I must be losing the touch, mate. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's shocking. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, finished. Too bad. See oh. that oil residue around there. Right, let's have a new one put back in. The, there is the new shocker going in. That is shocking. Can you manage this, Kev? Do you know what you're doing? I think so. Winging it. Okay, right. Winging it. Wing ding a ling. Concentration, mate. Concentration. Are you watching or are you just wanting a biscuit? I want a biscuit. There we go. That's shockingly good. Hey. Boom. Boom. You know, it's all right. You take that off. So Kev will take that side brake off and then we'll put the... Come on, Kev. 
Come on, Pep. Engine is clearly better. Not the engine. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. For a train or something. Hey, finish it, Kev. Well, I've got a job there. I don't you worry. I could weld up on the nail, that's no problem. Okay, front end. Yeah, you would. <laughs> You'd be able to do endos. By the time I had finished. Oh, with all the new back brakes, it might work better than the front one. Well, it's looking well. So it's still framing. Build all the brakes up, yeah, the new no, brakes at the front, new caliper. We don't have a clue if it starts yet. It's not been running for about two years. Maybe the first thing to check. I'm quite confident. Are you confident? No idea. No idea. Didn't hear money when it came in. It didn't. It got pushed in. <laughs> yeah, it got, got delivered on a trailer <laughs> and we pushed it around the air. Did it come on a trailer? Yeah, it got dropped off on a trailer. So Kev's got that side stripped down. Come on, Kev, we built the back back brakes up in the time it took you to that. It's fine, mate. You try doing it. You try talking all the time. I can't do it. You um have you, have you stripped the other side down? No. We'll strip the other side down and then we'll get the subframe chucked back in because we're all caught up now. Okay. We're just waiting for Kev, Sam, eh? <laughs> Kev, it's not funny. You make, oh, the, you make the job twice as hard, you know. Oh, what what did you say then, Kev? Flipping heck. Sam's dropped his rubbers. <laughs> yeah, found your dodgy on the floor. It's yeah. not, you're making your the dog voices out. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, it's not. Come on now, Kevin. Yeah. Don't, don't be upsetting him. It's not upsetting him, I want it done. No. So, can you wait 10 minutes, still won't come and I'll have to work while you're out shooting. I'm not going to work here. Whatever you do. How do you work? I don't have to try to look that. He's an Astra expert he's now. Not. He is. Hey, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you is in now so I'm just putting a little clip on then we'll pull the arms down put the shafts back in easy to do why the discs are off and then we'll build up the front brakes and we're pretty much getting there now got the headlights to do because they're uh, finished we bought some brand new headlights at the right we're getting them in we'll do the brakes build up the brakes build the brakes back up and then maybe get around to doing the headlights and maybe put a battery on it it might see if it'll start maybe don't know yet I don't know So we've got the lights here, look how much they transform. So if you want to buy some of these lights, guess what? You can buy them through us. Hit us in the video description down below and you can buy them. They are duty. We're just going to transform it. A few moments later. So we've gone to fit the new lights as well, as you've just seen. And it doesn't come with all the back bits or the motor. So what we've done is we've ordered some second-hand lights off eBay because the aftermarket ones didn't have the right fittings for the genuine lights. So that's coming. So we're we'll putting the lights on in the next one when we take it for MOT. If we get it running in time. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the driver's side brakes all built back up and, and the exhaust is now back on and the back brake pipe is done as well. So that's all done. Let's get on and do the passenger side brakes now. We've also just had the phone call as well to say that the wheels are ready to collect. So we'll collect them on the way home tonight. We'll get them put on as well. We'll see what they're like shortly, you know. Can't wait to see what colour they are. What colour did you pick? Brown. Brown. That'd be nice. Brown. Brown wheels on a white car. Very nice. So that's the uh, brakes all built. Oh no, microphone failure. 
It's all right though, because voiceover Colin's gonna tell you what's happened. Guess what? The brakes are built back up, and now we're gonna bleed the brakes up with this machine. Oh, hang on, the mic's coming back online. Tighten it up, pump it up, builds up the pressure, then he'll crack crack one off at a time. He'll he'll break a he'll crack a bleeding knuckle off one at a time, starting from the furthest one away. He's doing that one now, and that's the second one he's doing. Pressure and the third one and the fourth one. So that's all the brakes built back up. What we're going to do now is fit a battery tray in here, get the battery on, put the expansion tank on that we've cleaned out, put some coolant in. Yeah, it should be ready to fire up. Have we got a battery? We've got a battery and some wiper blades and some gearbox oil to go in, an oil filter. So yeah, there's still a few bits to do. So we'll get all them bits chucked back on and then hopefully should be ready to fire up. It hasn't been running for a long time. So I'm really excited to see if we can get it to run. I bet you are as well. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the video. What are we doing now, Sam? Putting this header tank on that's been semi-cleaned. So well, I can't climb in it and scrub the walls, can I? Why? All right, so we'll get some anti-freeze in it now. Yeah, so the battery's going on now. Coolant's in, and uh, we'll, she'll see if we can get it to start. Well, hey, yeah, let's see if she'll start. I can't wait. So after about four hours of messing on, we think we've actually found why it won't start and uh, stay running. Obviously it'll run, looking over, but it's not uh, revving up. So we did a volt test on the battery and it was only putting 11 volts out. So what we're doing now is just swapping the alternator. Luckily, we had one on the shelf and hopefully it'll give the 14 volts we need to get the pump to open to get it to run. So stand by for action. Right, so we've got the alternator on now, put the battery back on and we're going to see if the alternator has cured it and it'll run. No ideas, so yeah, might as well fire it up. I don't know. We've been on with this all day by the way, just trying to get it to run. Oh, 14.4, that'll do. Woohoo! That's good. Took me way out, got out yet. Still got the front game off, man, put on. But this is the stage we've got it to. We've got to rev it, it's cut off. So it's gonna leave it run for a, a minute and then try and rev it. Many tic tacs later. Right, let's go and rip it up from the back. 
Let's go and listen. I can't believe this. got a screw on the pump so what we're doing now is just getting it set in the right position because whoever had it before us had wound it right in so it was over fueling so we're just getting that set up in the right position and then the engine is dialed in thankfully <laughs> i hope so Yeah, which it is now because, because it will rev up and you can hear you can feel the resistance in there. So whatever it's trying to pull through in the tank isn't Yeah. Tank out, check the gauze in the tank, make sure it's not got any crud in it, which will give better fuel delivery. And is that pump primer pump not enough for the when the book comes under boot? But it never used to have one. <laughs> Mm. It's empty in the line and then it's... Yeah, it's empty in the line. So right, what we're going to do is we've been on with this all day so we're going to go home. So we'll be back on with it tomorrow and we'll see what we can do. Probably take the tank out is going to be the next option to clean the tank. Obviously we've got it revving up now because we've got the alternator working properly but obviously it's, it's draining the line so there's got to be something. It's building up, we get it built up the pressure and it empties the tank. It's got fuel in the tank, three quarters of a tank in there but it must be something in the gauze because there was no diesel in there. So we'll have to get that cleaned out. And then, yeah. And we'll show you the wheels tomorrow as well, because they're proper smart. So see you in the morning. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, Sam has slept on it, and he come up with an idea. <laughs> what my idea is? Yeah. Well, having a second look, there's no idle control bolt in there, in there anymore. Right. Right, I see. So, so there's no bracket. There's no bolt. It's just all falling off. So what do you reckon to do now, then? Well, we're going to have to make a bracket to uh, to hold it in the right position. Well, can we try? Can we try a cable tying it just to try it? There's already a cable tie on it. I already thought ahead. Right. Well, if you've already done that, and if it works, then we'll just have to fabricate the bracket. Right. Needs a bit of sawing on the exhaust, sir. Will it rev up now then? So obviously we don't have to take the fuel tank off, which is a bonus. So we're just going to have to look into order some bits for the pump or see if we can manufacture them to get the stop arm in the right position. So thankfully all that's done. So what we'll do now is we'll jump on, put the gearbox mount on and we'll get the lights all wired up at the front. So yes, we are getting there, finally. Reseal that exhaust as well, don't we? Yeah, big time. Yeah. The exhaust is blowing, so we need to re reseal that. Sam's putting the gearbox mount on now. She was a when I started working at the dime. Oh, 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 oh. That's the gearbox mount on. So now, like Sam's just said off camera, it'll stop shaking itself to bits. So we'll drop it down and we'll get all the lights just back on it now. Coming together. We got the armor. Second hand lights, I believe that's what these are that have come in. Obviously we need the fitments off, it's cheaper just to buy a second hand light and buy all the clips individually, because the aftermarket lights were rubbish.
Right, so that's all the lights put in at the front. What we'll do now is we'll put the front bumper on, then we've got something else we're going to fit to the front. And you missed it again. Why are you taking the screws out? Because I am fitting my grill. You've got another grill? Yeah. Right, so the headlights are in, bumpers on, and now Sam's removing the grill because obviously we've got to finish it off with a nice grill. If anyone's got a nice GSI front bumper they don't want, doesn't matter what colour of all the fog lights, let us know in the comment section below. We might buy it off you if the price is right. Just a Phillips screw to undo your grill in these aftermath bars. Right, and get this grill off Amazon. There's a link down below to so all the bits that we've used on the build. This is Sam's new grill. 28 pounds for the Chinese version. Let's yeah, see how she fits. Taiwan, 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 Taiwan version. Let's see how she fits. Um, it looks quite good. No, it looks good. It looks good. It's glossy, it's not matte. There's the lights on, the bumper, bonnet's not on all the way, pushed down all the way yet, but that just transforms it now. So what we'll do now is we'll get jumped on and we'll get on with the back lights and then we'll get the wheels so we're off. We're done doing the exhaust now and we've got some new mics, so Sam's got a mic really close to him so I can hear every word he says, so if he yes and blinds or, or farts like in the last one, I can pick it up loud and clear. Let us know what you think of the quality down below as well. Oh, come on. Right, now the exhaust done, we'll drop her down, get these back lights sorted. I wonder if we drop it down and pull it forward into this space, the wheels well, Are we not better doing the wheels first then? And that's it done, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's get these wheels out. Oh, look how nice they look. Oh, proper nice. They look absolutely mint. The only thing that hasn't arrived yet is the centre caps because one of the centre caps was missing. So we've ordered some centre caps and they should be with us today, hopefully. So we'll get the wheels off now and we'll get these put on. Don't need to go back up then, does it? No. Don't drop them. I'm scared of you. Mm. <laughs> They're very white. Nice, aren't they? Shows how discoloured the van is now. Hopefully the van will polish up to suit. You could drive around with <coughs> it green. I don't mind. Leave it green. Right, there we go. Wow, yeah. You can really see on the camera. Don't scratch them. Ooh. I've done a good job of these wheels. They're proper, proper smart, then, Mike. Well, I'm the straight now. Yeah, you're getting a rare classic set of wheels, aren't right? mm. yeah, you? New impact socket. Yeah, new improved, just put a bit of tape around the socket. They look so well. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think of them wheels. You can see how off colour the uh, car is now compared to the wheels. And we got the wheels a slight off cream. Right, that's all the wheels on. What we'll do now is we'll get it dropped down and we'll get on and get these back lights done. They look awesome. Bless her. Yeah, she looks well with them on. Looks really well. I like, very nice. Very low. That looks proper smart, that mate. I think we're on stopping tails here. So we've got the lenses that we're going to fit in the back. We've got a load of LED rear bulbs off Amazon, which I'll get the links sorted all down in the uh, description for you. So you can uh, buy them if you want to buy them. Because they're looking to them. 
No, Why is there two lights on? I don't know. This is full of water. So we've cleaned them up with contact cleaner and we've got the wrong side. That's your side, Sam. Bright light. Oh, nice, that. Yeah, indicator's working. There was once a little man called Pippi who liked to take lights out of cars because he didn't want to spend a pound on a bulb. Yeah, this is why the lenses are not in because the bulbs were robbed. Well, that looks well. Looks really well. So now we're going to tackle these number plate screws, which are probably not going to come off. Or oh, is that one coming off, Sam? That one's come out. Yeah, I ordered four. So two number plate lights. Yep. Then one interior light for you and one interior light for me. Yeah. See the transformation there, that just looks awesome. Just changes it, it looks nice and clean. So what we're gonna do now is get the seats whipped out of it, all the rubbish that's inside it, get that sorted out. And then while the seats are out, I might as well do all the carpets, get all the carpets cleaned and shampooed. So we'll get jumped on and we'll get these seats out now and sort all the dash out. You were a chair in the office, how about that? Right, we'll get the passenger seat out and then we'll get all this rubbish chucked in the bin. It's an old dress, doesn't it? That's you. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Chicken bone. <laughs> what are we doing now then? We need to put some bulbs in here. Yeah. <clears throat> some bulbs in here. Yeah. So we need that out and that out. So we're going to be changing them out because they're disgusting. <laughs> so, right, so they're done now. It's just a load cleaner, ice white instead of that horrible yellowy colour. Same as the ones down there. And then that has gone to a green instead of the yellowy colour. I think that looks smart, nice and clean. Can't stop the buzzer. We'll get on with the next thing. Who's coming together now? So inside's come up pretty well. Just gotta go around with a dry cloth, do the glass inside and out to match, but I'm well happy with it.
So we've got the van back in after its first wash. It was freezing outside and it's come up really well to say how long it's been off the road for not being washed. So we're going to fit the number plates and we're going to go around, give it a good polish up, got the glass to do to get it spammed up because we're off to MOT in about two hours with it. So let's get cracked on. So what we've got as well, we're having to shorten the foam because Sam's got his private plate going on. So he's just cleaning off the glue and then I'll go around with some compound, clean all this up, then we'll mount his private plate. Very nice. It's coming off quite easy. Very easy. Yeah, good, good. Happy days. A lot easier than I thought anyway. That's good. That's what we want. Just means you didn't end up having to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Here, that's right though. Yeah, thanks. out of time because it's time to go for MOT now but it's looking proper well so what we're just setting up as well which I have no go no go <laughs> no clue because we're just setting a new GoPro up it's only a cheap one see if that works I need to work the settings out I'm not the best if anyone wants to send us any good GoPros out or sponsors with some good GoPros crack on just some Hero 9s or something yeah that'll be nice so we'll get it outside we'll jump in it first drive out in a long time let's see uh, if there's any problems if we can make it to test and if she'll pass at test woohoo pull her out yeah yeah Right, we're on the way back from MRT and she's passed buzzing. Right, we're obviously on the way for a ride out now. Another little thing I want to talk about is what project do you want us to do next? We're doing an update in the next couple of weeks on the Turbo K and the Endura K is fitting the new suspension. Then I want to know we, from you guys, what do you want us to move on to? Whether you want us to go on to the Cabriolet, but I don't think Benny Dorma bus will be happening, or do you want us to start with the TT body swap? Where we'll be putting an XR2i body on top of the TT. Let us know in the comment section down below what you want us to do. It's down to you guys to choose our next build. Thank you so much for all your support and comments everyone who subscribed all the returning subscribers it's been brilliant working on this van and you lot following us on this journey over the last four weeks so on to the next project we'll see you in the next one take care bye now